Hey everybody, it's Glider Camp, and it is time to play. We're back in Complex Sky. Let's pick up where we left off. We're making progress in our little town. Last episode, we got our mining facility up, and we popped down a couple mining drills for, what are we getting here? Coal and stone. And then also, uh, we placed a couple uh, tree collectors or wood collectors so that's getting us wood and actually some saplings as well. All very cool. We learned a bunch last episode and we're making our way through the tutorial. Let's pick that up and bring the tutorial up again. I think we're done with this section. Yep, we did all the mining machine stuff. Looks like we've only got one more page of the tutorial. Let's go. Okay, mechanics of tier research. Okay, we may have already done this. Basic research. After research... After researching basic research technology, you will unlock more technology that need cost. Okay, so that's a little broken English there, but I think basically this is saying once we get to this tier and unlock basic research, we're going to need to produce research in order to continue on the tech tree. So that's basically, I think, what that's trying to tell us. In order to process those researches, you need the research laboratory. And basically, I think this, you can read this to say, in order to process the other research, you're going to need a research laboratory to make science packs. That's kind of how I read this. So let's go ahead. We'll close out the tutorial. That's it for that. Boom. Let's go into the research tree. I'm going to get there. Well, let's just hit the T, T key. T is in Tom, brings up the research tree. We can see the last one that we just got done here was mining. And then the one that they're talking about in the tutorial is this basic research. And in order to research this one, you can see what the cost is. 7,500 credits. Again, no problem on credits. We're doing great on those. But we need these stone cloak things. Let's see if we can, um, let's see if we can handcraft some of those. We need 10. And the thing that's a little confusing about this particular screen is you'll see it's once we complete this research, it says it unlocks the stone cloaks, but we need stone cloaks to complete the research. So when I first saw this, it was confusing. And when I see it now, it's a little confusing. So let's go ahead and click research. It's going to complain. Yep. Not enough materials. Let's see about those stone cloaks. So I got a couple ideas for that. First, let's see if we can handcraft it. Let's go into our crafting menu. I don't see them here, right? There's no stone cloaks. So we don't have the opportunity to do that. The other thing I thought was maybe it's sitting in inventory. The only building we've really placed or haven't placed is this guy. And remember early on, we stole some uh, circuits or something. We stole, or we took the basic control units out of there and we took something else. I think maybe it was some stone slabs. I can't remember. But I don't see stone cloaks here either. And I can't remember how I solved this problem last time. So we're going to have to work through it. Let's go back to the research tree. I think there may be some hints. Uh, we'll figure it out because I figured it out last time. So if I click on stone cloak. Okay, I just double clicked on it. And it brought me into this item library. Here's all the different materials I could choose to see information about. And it automatically selected this uh, stone cloak for me. So let's just see what this is all about. Okay, output. There's two prototypes. So I believe this is saying there's two different ways we can produce these stone cloaks. One is in a research assembly. And if we provide two stone and 25 water... I believe the research assembly will produce these stone cloaks or we can produce it in a basic assembly and it takes two stone and 25 electricity. So now let's do this basic assembly thing. And if I click show building, okay, it brings up the assembler foundry. All right. And if I remember correct, that's a building we just unlocked. So let me get rid of all this, get that stuff out of our way. Let's take a look at factories. There's assembly foundry. 
Let's see. I think if I click this. Okay, see, it's going to let me place the assembly foundry just like we've done all our other buildings. But what I can do over here on the right, if we look on the right, we can see the rotate and the offset. We've seen that before. But there's this building info button. If I click that, boom, up comes the, uh, I guess, building card from the uh, building library, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Let me, uh, let me clear out of this. I'll hit escape just to bring up the controls. Building library, F2, and then assembly foundry. So that's another way to get there and get information. So I'm guessing what we need to do to get those stone cloaks is we got to build one of these, uh, build one of these assembler foundries and set up production of stone cloaks. So that's kind of what I think needs to happen. We can get iron plates out of this guy and we can get stone cloaks. And we are, what are we mining again? Are we mining stone? We are. We're going to need to mine iron. Like I mentioned, I think last episode. All right, well, let's get it, let's get it placed. Now, I'm just curious if I can build on top of this uh, utility module here. Kind of curious about that. Maybe we try and build our factory right next to this thing. So I haven't tried that before. Let's give it a shot. All right, uh, assembly foundry. We'll see how big it is. Is it a two by two? Okay, so obviously it's going to complain. I think it's going to complain here about not having a foundation. Yep. So let's see. We're going to learn this together. I'm going to pop foundations just to make a 4x4 four four section here. And I'm hoping I can build on top of this utility connector. I just want to try it. Maybe it's not the best idea. So what is the problem here? So it doesn't seem to like it. So that utility connector is kind of a pain in the rear, it looks like. Is that going to consume a whole block? And that may be one of the game dynamics. I kind of was hoping we could do it. So now I did try to build a foundation on top of that. You saw when I dragged it. Like, it's not, it's not going to let me do it. Let's just try that one more time, and then we'll give up. Summer Foundry. Yeah, it just does not want me to place it. I'll hit the T key just to see. Nope. Does not like it. So we could come one over. But wow, does that become wasted space? Tell you what, I think what I'm going to do. Let's see, can we build a road over that? That's uh, That's kind of annoying. Let's see. Let's go to utility and levitate network. Nope, doesn't let me do that either. Interesting. So we'll have to see how we make use of that block. Now, once we've got that utility connector there, I hope it's not, I hope it's not stealing that space all the way up and down. Like we can't build stuff on top of it. It's something we're going to probably have to come back to. Floating land is something different. I don't think that's that's going to solve our problem for us. And one last time with the foundation. Nope, does not like it. All right, well, let's go extend out here. Let's not take too much time playing with that. We'll just put another couple blocks over here. And we'll place our factory. This time it's the December foundry. This guy should be happy here. Uh, we need... We need uh, basic control units. Those, I think we can craft. We may have to do a little crafting, yeah. But we're going to need copper plates. 15 copper plates. So let's find some copper. Uh, that's that special material. I don't see copper there. There's copper. Let's grab our mining tool. And I think I can just mine over here, right? Boom, 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 boom. It gets us, I think, what, what is that? Some stone as well, maybe? And you can see the, uh, the size of the ore deposit is indicated when I hover over here. It says 2910. If I click more of these, it goes down. So the ore is not infinite. At least it doesn't appear that way. 
So we'll see as we play on if that's going to be a problem. All right, we know we need the copper plates. Let's go ahead and craft those because we just got the copper ore. We need to get the plates, so I'll queue up a bunch of that. And now we may have enough already. Let's go ahead and try to build it. Sumber founder. And again, this is going to get us those stone cloak things. Oh, whoops. We need the control units first. Sorry. Let's go to this guy and these guys. Let's queue up 10 of those. So we have them. I'm sure we're going to need more. All right. So those are starting to craft up. Let's go ahead. And now, finally, there we go. I'm going to rotate so we get our white pillar, which is levitate network connected to our existing roads. Boom. That looks good. And we'll just double check the power. Okay, it needs electricity. Easy. Go to the utilities, go to power cables and just extend this guy out. Nice. We're all connected up. And now I'll go to the production tab, just like we did for the rice farm. And we can pick stone cloaks. And that's going to take stone, electricity, and turn it into the stone cloaks. But we probably need to do the transport network. And I'm just going to leverage this auto setup because it's uh, it's just so darn easy. So here we go. It's going to bring stone in. And it's going to send stone cloaks out. Once we have the stone cloaks, I think they're going to be sitting in the... Operation center inventory. So we'll see. I don't think we can build from that inventory. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So I'm at the operation center. There's a stone cloak just got produced. Let's see if it makes its way into the operation center inventory. I'm pretty sure it will. Let's just wait for a second here. You can see we've got more trucks floating around on our levitation network. So that's kind of cool. But I think once a certain number of these stone cloaks get produced, they will be transported over here to the operation center. Oh, you know what? This may not, this may not refresh automatically. No, that's not the issue. Let's, uh, let's see. I'm going to escape out of this. I'm going to check our general inventory just to make sure they're not popping in there. Nope. No stone cloaks. Go ahead and check our production line again. Yep. We're producing them two at a time. We have eight in storage. Now it may take a few. Let's see. Transport. Okay. It looks like it takes 20 batches of 20 before they get transported. And I don't think there's a way to fast forward the speed in the game. I could be wrong. But once we get 20, they will be automatically, I believe they will be automatically transported. We only have 10. What we could be doing while we're waiting on that, let's take a look at... Um, Something I kind of noticed here at the bottom right hand side of the screen. So we've got this little up arrow here and with the number two next to it and it says trade points. Let's go ahead and click on that. We touched on this in the, uh, pre in my preview video. If you've seen that, if not, we'll look at it right now. So basically as we play on and I'm not entirely sure how these are earned, but we'll accumulate these trade points as we build our city. And they can be used to, to add buffs to your city. So here we can see uh, the different options available to us. Looks like there's three things we could possibly choose from. There's Cash Empire. So if I click on this guy, it's going to cost one trade point. Does it show it here what it costs? Yeah, if I just mouse over it, it just show how much it costs. So we've got two now. This one gives us... Plus two tax gain, so more cash, but it slows down how fast our population grows. This one gives us plus three assembly specialized. Now, I don't know what that means, unfortunately. I just don't know what that buff means, but I'm guessing it speeds up your assembly. 
buildings, like uh, the factory that we just placed. But it increases our pollution. Pollution, the last time I played, was not that difficult to keep under control. So that may be not bad. And then slowing down the population rate may not be such a big deal. So let's go ahead and use our trade points. Let's just do both of these. And we'll see if it makes any sense if we, uh, if we run into problems. But now you can see we're at level 2 for those. And if we want to get up to level or another level... Then it'll take, I guess we're at level one, maybe. And now to get to level two, it takes another two trade points. So that's what that's about. So we spent those. Right click to get out of that. And now let's look at this one here. We've got this uh, indicator here in our workforce that we got problems. So for workers, we've got 67 out of 72 that are working. Overall, they're contented. We've got four operators. All of them are working. And there's this says 71 population. So there's the 67 plus the four, right? That gives us the 71 people we've got. So it looks like, is there anything I can read here? Missing worker population. Okay, overall happiness threshold. So it looks like we're short workers. It says 85%. I'm guessing we're short workers. Now, I could be wrong. See how it says we're minus 5? Let's click that again. We're minus 5 on these workers. So I think this is 5. I'm guessing this is either 5 people unemployed or we have 5 jobs available that aren't fulfilled. Anyway, I guess we'll come back to that. I'm not sure what the answer is. I also notice here on the research or on our quest that we've completed the quest for ecosystem. Let's go ahead and dismiss that or accept it. That got us 10,000 credits. We have a new one for basic research, and that's the one we're actually we're working on that right now. Dismiss this. And now let's check our operations center and see... If those stone cloaks made it, they did. Cool. In fact, two shipments did. Or no, just one shipment did. I think it's 20 per shipment. Now let's see if we can research with the stone cloaks in our operation center's inventory. Let's go into the tech tree. I'll just hit T. Pick that research. It needs two. It needs 10 stone cloaks and the money. Let's just see if this will work. I think it we will find out. Yep. No problem. So we can... Uh, Use the inventory of our operation center to satisfy the needs of our tech tree requirements. All right, so that unlocked the research laboratory, and that was the last part of the tutorial. We need to actually build this in order to research anything else. Because everything else is going to require what I believe are science packs. I don't know, somewhere that probably has a name for that. Let's go and look at the, uh, I'm going to hit escape to bring up the menu. Let's go to item library and see if it's in here. Those little beakers. I don't see them. We got a lot of other stuff that we're going to be making. Yeah, I don't see it. All right. Well, let's go ahead and set out to do the, well, we do have a worker problem here. Let's take a look at the apartment first and see if there's a way to beef this guy up. So when I click on it, and let's see, upgrades, modules. Yeah, I think we have to unlock these, right? Let's go back to the tech tree. I think in order to upgrade our apartment, we need to, and we can build more apartments, I believe. But I think in order to add modules to this one, we have to unlock it in the tech tree. Let's just look and see what the research is. We completed this one. So we've got basic manufacturing and this is going to unlock more upgrades for the assembler foundry okay this one is stone processing and it unlocks a it looks like a more effective mining machine perhaps operators okay unlock building apartment a decent apartment to house operator population 
and can expand for more housing space. So that's one we're interested in for sure. This one is unlocks a basic assembly. It's a recipe. Okay, this might be the one we're interested in. So this is going to get us more workers, right? That's what we're short on. Modular worker house, two worker space and four worker space dynamic. I'm not sure what that means between the static and the dynamic. Plus one worker. That takes 30, no, it takes, uh, yeah, 30 wood to start it. The research. And then it's going to take... Um, 10 research items. I'm not sure what this tier one is. Let's see. Okay. Weak science material. Let's see what that's all about. Okay. The research assembly produces this. I think. Well, let's build that research lab. We know we need to do it. I think that may answer some of the questions for us. All right, let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, structure foundation here. And I think this is going to be our conduit for power. We'll come out this way as well. Let's see, before I lay too much structure foundation, let's see how big the research lab is. Uh, we have a new icon here too in the toolbar, the ornaments, so we can plant trees. All right, city research laboratory. Okay, that is what, a two by two? Yeah. Let's, I want to leave room for a road. So I'm going to go ahead and put road down just so I don't forget. I want to build over that. And then we need two by two for our research laboratory. So let's go ahead and put down structure foundations, two by two. And then I think this is going to need foundations as well. Pop those guys down and we'll move a little bit faster. And under city research laboratory, I'm going to rotate... That looks good. And then we're getting familiar with this now. We need to hook up our power and our water. Pretty easy. There's the power, I think, here and here. Oops, I need more material. Oh, no, that worked. That worked. I think it just worked. Let's see. Yep, we're good on power. Let's do water. Same thing, except we got to route this quite a bit further. Um, doesn't really make a difference. Let's come down this way. I think it's just taking a while for these to snap in. Yep. And let's double check it. Okay, we got water power and the roads. Now let's look at production for the research lab and see what this guy needs. So here we can make those stone cloaks if we want. Um, I don't think we need to, right? We're making them in the other place, but we do need this weak science. Oh, I see. Look at this. The weak science needs stone cloaks and wood and electricity and water. Um, yeah, we probably do need to do one line of this. Let's do one line of each of these. And then we need to set up transport. So let's go ahead and do auto. So we're going to import some stone. We're going to import some wood, which we don't have yet. So we need to manufacture this wood. I think we can do that in our assembler foundry. Let's look at the production here. We're just doing the stone cloaks. Let's add wood. I think we're producing trees, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and do the wood or the processed wood, I guess I should call it. And then let's update our transport here to bring in wood. So I'll just do auto setup transport. Boom. So in comes the logs and out goes the wood. Let's go back to the research lab. Check the production. Transport is already set up to bring in the wood once it's ready. So what do we got? We're producing these um, stone cloak things. 
just to meet our own needs. So we don't need to ship those out, really. Let's look at the transport. Yeah, we're not sending those out. So that's good. Keep those for our own needs, and then that will help feed the production down here of the weak science or whatever it is. Weak science material. So once, let's see, do we have the wood already in inventory? Not yet. Let's just double check and make sure our other factory is producing the wood. It is. Yeah, so it'll take a little bit while, while to transfer it, port it. It needs 20 before it sends it out. So we should be in decent shape. Now, I don't know if that material needs to be shipped anywhere, this weak science material. Oh, oh, look at this here. All right, let's go through the whole thing here on the research laboratory. Okay, yeah, we've got all that. Tools unavailable. Not sure what that's all about. Okay, this is just showing some statistics around the production. We're consuming these two materials. We're producing these two. Storage. We've got stone coming in. Good. Okay, we still don't have the wood coming in yet. So I'm confident it will arrive. Transportation, yep, we're set to bring it in. Science, now what is this? Okay, service available, materials unavailable. Current research is idle. Start new research. I kind of want to wait till we actually have this being produced here. Let's just see what's going on with the wood have any in storage here we do 20 so that should these 20 wood whatever they are pallets is <laughs> what they look like but these units of wood should be making their way to our laboratory we've got the transport set up we've got enough wood I'm just going to keep an eye on this for a second Got electricity. We just need that wood to come in. So let's just watch this for a second. So it should be working. There it goes. It just started on its own. So I didn't click anything. I didn't pause the video. It looks like it's it's coming along here. All right, good. Well, I noticed something here yellow on the bottom of the screen. Looks like we might have a problem with uh, short on operators. So we're going to need to, yeah, expand our housing. But now we've got the research lab up and moving. Let's look at this tab here, the science tab, and see what this is about. If I click start new research. Okay, it just takes me into the tech tree. And I guess now that we're producing that science, we can research stuff. We know we're short on, we're really short. <laughs> it looks like on these uh, workers. So let's click this one. We've already completed the research. It's gonna take 30 wood, some weak science, I think this is just telling us it's 10 of the weak science. I could be wrong. Let's just hit research. Need more materials to start the research. Let's look at some of these other ones. Interesting. So I'm looking at the cost here. I'm kind of assuming like for this one that we need two week science times 20. So I'm assuming this means we need 40 week science for this to research this one. And if we look at some of these other ones, this has weak science and one science material and then 39, you know, copies of that. And here's where that time is going to come in. 
So it's going to be 39. This is my guess. We'll see as we play, <laughs> but I'm guessing it's going to be 39 cycles, 12 seconds each. And in each cycle, we're going to consume two weak science and one science material. That's my guess. Let's go take a look at our research lab and check out the inventory. Does this guy have, okay, there's the weak science material. We've got seven. Let's go into the research tree and see if we can research this yet. We need 10 cycles. So we're going to need 10 weak science, right? It should, Oh, in order to research tier one technology, is that now need for process research okay in order to research tier one i think it's just saying we need the research lab no it's it's actually doing it i think it's actually doing it it's a little confusing for sure right okay we can see the weak science material being produced this is on the science tab. Now this is where we queued up the research. So here's our current research, the workers, and here is the work actually getting done, right? So just like I was thinking, it's multiple cycles, each one consuming a science material. Boom, all right, cool. So we figured that out, it's progressing. And I think this is gonna allow us to add modules to our apartment building and that will, hopefully get us more workers and we won't have this shortage here of workers. Looks like we're down 18 workers. So we will give that a shot or we'll look into that a little deeper next episode. We burned through this episode pretty quick. Uh, I can't believe it, but we got the research lab up. We started our first research that requires like these, these science materials. So we'll see how that goes. We've got, Mine's going. We started producing the uh, stone cloaks. So we're making progress. That's going to be it for this episode, though. I will see you in the next one. This is Glattercat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. And again, I'll see you in the next one.